So that was Touch Me, Tease Me by Case and Foxy Brown towards the end of the golden era of 90s R&B. Pretty simple chord progression. I'm going to break it down and then you'll be able to play it. It sounds very elegant on piano. Just saying. So, first chord is going to be a G flat major 7th, which is going to be G, B flat, D, F. Okay. So you can play that in both hands actually, or make it a giant G major or G flat major chord. Okay. So in the, in the right hand you're going to have B flat, D flat, and F. Okay. And then you're going to have the E flat minor chord and give that dissonant effect because you're going from uh, you're basically raising the seventh right here you're raising it up the G flat ooh dissonant effect and then you drop it all back down with the A flat major which is going to be A flat B or C flat uh, G flat and a B flat up here. So before I, you know, got sidetracked with the theory behind it, uh, the second chord in the progression is going to be E flat minor, but it's going to be inverted. So it's going to be D flat, E flat, and G flat. So again, okay. So those are the chords. Now the melody section is just going to be a, uh, basically a, a pattern of B flat, F, E flat, D flat. So you can just sing along with the song. Touch me, tease me. And then you're going to walk the scale up of a G flat, A flat, B flat. you walk up the scale from the E flat right here you're going to go G flat A flat B flat A flat G flat F natural and then D flat and E flat again Okay, so I'll add in both hands, but let me go back and just go over that, that melody section again.
But you can end it any way you want on those chords. So once again, because you're actually going to be playing the G flat major chord at the end. So once again. So now we're going to add in the left hand. So you can vary it any type of way that you want with the chord progressions. Uh, you can add your own flair to it, but it's a very simple and straightforward song, and I like it. And if you have any questions, let me know. But I'll put up the chord charts at the end, not at the beginning of this tutorial. And this is Living Force, signing out. Thanks.